My face when I finished the donut tutorial. My face when there's a sale on at Blender Market. My face when I accidentally set the voxel size to 0 0.0000001 and remesh. My face when Blender crashes and there's nothing in autosave. Hey guys, today I thought I'd keep the Reillusion streak alive and talk a little bit about some more new features coming in the upcoming launch of CC4. Let's jump in. First up is the native morph slider editor in the expression profile editor. What this allows you to do is customize and fine tune the facial expressions of your character right in CC4. No need to export out to another program now. Everything can be done right here, which definitely streamlines things. In CC4, you have a default template over on the left panel here, and this panel provides every character imported into CC4 with a set of basic generic expressions. You can modify these basic expressions or even add your own unique ones by using the expression editor to accentuate your character's unique look. So how does it work? In CC4, we have our character here, a fun stylized vampire. We can apply an expression over on the left here in the expression editor. In this case, let's increase the brow raise to 100%. So the left eyebrow is now raised as high as it can go as per the default settings. For a stylized character like this though, you may want something a little bit more dynamic and punchy, and that is where the new native morph slider editor over on the right comes in to save the day. So over on the right, if we want the eyebrow to be higher and more angled, for example, we can adjust the height slider to move the brow up farther away from the eye, and we can adjust the angle slider to make the angle of the brow more steep like this. The end result is an eyebrow that is a lot higher and steeper, which in turn makes the expression a lot more dynamic and engaging. You can lock in this adjustment back over on the left. You can click here to update the expression slider. This means that next time you move the brow raise to 100%, it will move the eyebrow to your new customized, more dynamic position. You can also quickly mirror over this custom expression to the other side by clicking here, which cuts our work in half. You can also make use of the bone system native to CC4 to customize expressions even further. So here in the bone list, we can select the root bone of the jaw and pull it downwards like this. With this larger opening for the mouth, when we adjust the morph sliders for the mouth opening, height, and corners, the mouth really opens up and takes on a really unique shape, more befitting of the character. We can also adjust the teeth to fit this new, more dynamic mouth shape. Now when we adjust the expression slider for the jaw open, the mouth shape and opening is a lot more dynamic than the default. You can also use the native morph slider editor to fix the placement of teeth quickly as well. Here if we adjust the mouth left expression slider, we see the character's mouth move to the left. The teeth, however, do not. To fix this, over on the right, you can adjust the scale morph slider for the teeth to shrink them down. Back over on the left, you can update the expression slider to take into account the teeth scaling. And now when you move the mouth left expression slider, the teeth stay hidden. With the eye blink set to 100%, we can see it doesn't quite close the eye all the way. So over on the right native morph slider editor, we can adjust it to close it up better. You can see that the eyelash is a little out of sync with the eyelids though, and this can be fixed with the edit mesh editor. And like before, to update the eye blink expression slider, just click here, and then to mirror it over to the other side, just click here. So here you can see some great examples of the customization you can get just by using the native morph slider editor right in CC4. Really dynamic, engaging expressions that fit the stylized nature of the character here, really takes our characters to the next level, all without having to complicate your workflow with more software. On that note, however, if you did want to work in another program, the next new feature is the ability to do just that. Edit the blend shapes external to CC4 by making use of CC4's FBX export feature. This allows you to customize your character's expressions and gestures in the 3D program of your choice. The native morph slider editor has amazing functionality as we just saw, but the team over at Reillusion realizes that every artist is different and that you may want to edit in a program you're more familiar with. So how does it work? To edit externally, just go up to the file menu and select export FBX, then the program of your choice. Reillusion has been working hard at integrating their software with Blender, so let's select Blender and then jump over there. Now we're over in Blender, just select the shape key that you want to adjust and edit in the manner you see fit. Here we're going to use Blender Sculpt Tools to fix the eye blink expression. With that done, the updated blend shapes are saved when you export to a new FBX. Back in CC4, select your new FBX with the updated blend shapes. Tick replace all sliders with the same name, and all the expression sliders in CC4 will be updated to reflect the adjustments you just made in Blender. The expressions update when using the face puppet, which is great. The ability to update all the expressions via FBX works for all FBX tools such as 3ds Max, Maya, and Blender. And here you can see the difference between the default, 50% stylized, and 100% stylized expression. This allows you to apply many different iterations and exaggerations of one expression, which is great for adding variety to 
your character's movement quickly. And lastly is the new smoothing tool, the Delta Mush. This feature allows you to smooth out the geometry of your models very easily right in CC4. Another great time-saving tool that streamlines your workflow and saves you from having to export to an external 3D program and then import it back in. So how does it work in CC4? You see if we take a default character and really exaggerate some of its features using the morph sliders like this, we end up with a character with very jagged and sharp geometry, which isn't the best when it comes to animation. This is where the Delta Mush feature comes in. Here in the Edit Mesh menu, you can smooth the whole body at once, for example, by just selecting all the vertices, clicking Delta Mush, preview, then apply. Now the entire model is much smoother and thus better set up for animation. If you notice that there are still areas where you want more smoothing, you can focus the Delta Mush tool to work only by selection. Here we can see the chest, neck, feet, and thighs still have geometry that looks a little close together and with sharp angles, so we can smooth it out even more one by one like this. So a quick before and after shot of the base mesh, we can see the smooth version looks a lot better. If you wanted to add accessories, just drag and drop from the smart gallery and see C4 will line everything up to your model. You may find that the geometry of the clothing and accessories is also jagged with sharp angles, which again can be fixed using the Delta Mush tool. Like before, just select the desired area, click Delta Mush and apply. You can adjust the power and area of the tool through soft select, radius, bias, strength, and iteration fields here. To gain more control over the smoothing, you can set the strength and iterations low and just click the apply button multiple times until the geometry is in your design desired state. You can also use Delta Mush to smooth out geometry that behaves unexpectedly when applying expressions. Here we can see the geometry around the brow and mouth begin to clip and overlap when we adjust the expression sliders. Back into the Edit Mesh menu, select the affected areas, click Delta Mush, then Apply until we have it where we want it. But make no mistake, the Delta Mush tool isn't just for fixing, it's there to also help create clean, smooth meshes on each custom slider. This allows you to further build original, unique expressions that stand out from the generic ones. And because this tool is located under the Edit Expression panel, this means that the custom slider can then be reused and recombined with other morphs in future projects. So that's it for this one. I hope that shows how you can really take your characters to the next level for that animation or game you're working on. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped, and we'll see you in the next one.